I understood that it was many things about my friend that I didn't understand that I didn't, I felt I, I was very far away from my friend. Um, and I, I started a lot of research for probably a year. And, and, and while I did the research, I got closer to him and this idea of like doing a film about it started to kind of grow inside of me, because I think that I understood that my friend was uh, struggling. I've never wanted this film necessarily to be about mental health. I wanted it to be a film about someone who's, who feel unheard, who feel, who feel like he's drowning, who feel like he's, 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 he, people are not listening to him. And then this idea of mental health came along because that's how, you know, when people watch the film, that's how people perceive this person. That's how people kind of um, can understand this kid. But I, and I think that's right to think that. And I, but I, I but it's, it's for me, it's hard to know what really happened to him. Was it really mental health? Was he really suicide? Was he really struggling with, with mental health? I will never know. Nobody will ever know. And that's just the truth. So for me, it was important to tell the story of, of this kid who was in a society that wasn't, that had never felt heard. When we got the nomination that day and the day after, it was crazy because I did really feel for the first time in my life, uh, kind of a, a, a wave of love coming from Quebec and from people in Montreal and never really felt that. I And, and it was special to see the amount of support. Um, and it was very special because honestly, I don't know if I would still be a filmmaker today if it wasn't from you know, the reaction of the audience that came from the film.